It's Show Grande all the way live on the red carpet for the house that Jack built. Now, you guys, I'm telling you right now, I ain't joking when I say I'm excited to interview Gail O'Grady. Gail. Did you have to look at no, my name? Well, you know what? Because I'm, I, I'm looking at it going, where do I want to go first? What do I want to start with? I did the research when I knew you were going to be on the red carpet. You were the main reason why I came here. Thank you very much. I'm a huge why don't fan you of your say? Work. Why don't you tell them what you just said to me before the camera was rolling? Can you guys, you I said I'm a huge fucking fan. <laughs> all bullshit aside, before we do this interview, that's what I wanted to tell you. Did I not say exactly that? Yeah. Will that be like beep, beep, a huge? I'm sure, beep. it will. And if it's not, oh well. You know what I mean? I just <laughs> keep it real. That's that's the way I do things around here. What brings you out here today? I know you're in the movie. Talk about your role. Um, I play. I have a very small role in this movie, but I love independent films, and I'm buddies with Joe Montaigne, and actually did my first job in. Hollywood with Joe and three amigos, right? Three, my God! I told you, girl, I'm stalker, a fan. Stalker. Hold on, you want your underwears back? <laughs> no, you keep them. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. They're dirty, anyways. Um, oh wow! See now, now there's nowhere to go from there. Yes, there is. Keep talking about the three amigos when you guys first met. Are you met. with these guys? Yeah, I'm sleeping with her. Don't worry about it. <laughs> So tell me about you and Joe. You guys go back to Three Amigos. We go back to Three Amigos, and we do the Memorial Day concert in Washington together. And um, I finished a film with his daughter, Gina. So it's kind of Joe Montaigne, and we're both from Chicago, so there's some kind of weird synchronicity with our lives. So. And, uh, you know, not only that, the weird thing that I like about you is some of the characters and roles that you play. I mean, I fell in love with you in Boston Legal as you played this sexy judge where I was like, oh, my God, are there real judges like that? Which <laughs> I was kind of shocked and like, you know, you're so hot there. And then Desperate Housewives, you play the woman that gets knocked up by the high school kid. And do you find these roles just to be a little risque and a little funny for you? Um, I'm, I feel so lucky in, in my industry that I get to do different kinds of roles because I've never been, um, I don't think I've been typecast, so I, I kind of sort out and look for just different kind of roles. I mean, not everything is like massively different, but I do look for um, variety and just different characters, so. And not only that, I remember back when Deuce Bigelow came out and you were like the Matrix chicks going crazy in that one. Yes. Obviously that wasn't you, or was it? Everything was me but the backflips. You're kidding me. So no. when they had you showing up and you're doing the split the legs. and all of that, yes. Really? Yes. That's awesome. Couldn't do that now, but yes, that was me. Why? Is because so. you have a kid now, or what's the deal <laughs> I with don't that? No. Wouldn't try it at home now. Talk about the kid now. You got a five year old son? The kid. Your, your, the boy? Uh, my son, Michael? The boy. Uh, yes, he's five. Five year old yes. Michael. Is he named after your brother? Yes. See how I put that all yeah. together? Am I a stalker? Yeah. You know what, though? When, when, well, you know, I look forward to seeing you in the movie, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, And too. stop calling me at night, because, you know, you're really bothering me. I'm sorry. All right. Just, just, just lose the number. Pull the restraining order. Lose the number, please. Pull the restraining order, I and I will stop calling you at night. <laughs> Thank you, man. Where are you guys from? Just WTV. My name's Joe Grande. I do a talk show on the radio show. Now I'm doing some stuff with these guys, and I just love to fuck with people. And, you know, that's my gig. Hi, this is Gail O'Grady, and you're watching WTV.